Hi, I'm Sherman Snyder with MLC CAD Systems, and today I want to talk about cutter compensation and some of the parameters that we have for options within our tool paths for cutter compensation. Whenever we're looking at cutter compensation parameters, we have an array of parameters to choose from. Inside of the operation that I have already loaded, for our lathe can rough parameters here, you'll find this over to the far right side. I have computer, control, wear, reverse wear, and off. We also have the compensation direction for right or left in the drop down menu. Whenever we're looking at these compensation type parameters, there's two things that we need to focus on. One, does Mastercam compensate for the tool diameter? Yes or no? And two, are we getting a G41 and a G42 compensation code in the output? Whenever we use computer, Mastercam will compensate for the tool diameter in the output of the code itself. We do not have a way to adjust this on the machine with a G41 and G42. Whenever we're using control, we have the option to compensate but the actual code itself is driving right on the geometry that we have created, just as if we were reading this off of a print. What we would notice here is that this, is be, this will be an on condition that we have here. And on the control, we would have a G41 or G42 that allows the tool to push either to the right or either to the left. If we had this set for an off condition, our tool would still drive on top of the geometry, but we wouldn't have the diameter compensation in the code or the G41 or G42 itself. When we start looking at the direction of the compensation that we're trying to do, in this case, I have a G41 or a G42 compensation right. Notice the direction of the arrow that we are traveling. If our tool is traveling this direction, we compensate to the right, we will receive a G42. Inside of Mastercam's parameters, you would choose computer, wear, or reverse wear. Again, if we choose computer, you're gonna get the compensation in the output of the code, but you're not gonna receive a G41 or G42. If we used wear, Mastercam is automatically going to compensate that tool to the outside of the geometry based off the diameter of the tool. And here you will receive your G41, or in this case, G42 for right. And of course, if we have reverse wear, it's going to be the opposite of wear, allowing you to do positive or negative numbers, the opposite of what your wear would be in the CNC control itself. When we look at cutter compensation left, again, this is a directional thing. Notice that our tool is on the left side. If we were traveling from the bottom up, this will give us a G41. The same settings will apply for computer, wear, and reverse wear. So, we're gonna look at what would happen if we took a larger tool and we change this to a smaller tool inside of uh, the machine tool itself. Let's say in this case, I know this is a one inch diameter, and I have a three quarter inch diameter below. If my tool was running compensation with wear turned on, I would have to make up for this value inside of the CNC control. Going back to some of these settings, there is an option here for control, and I want to talk more about this setting. Again, if we were compensating using control, our diameter rides right on the geometry. We will have to go out to the control itself and tell it what that diameter compensation is so that the control knows how much to shift that tool. In this case, this is a one inch diameter. If I was to change this to a three quarter, I could simply go out to my control Tell it that I have a three quarter diameter in my diameter compensation and the control will make up the difference and adjust based off of the output that I have. So 
I'm going to look at this simple turn profile I have. This profile is pulled off of this main body. When looking at the profile itself, imagine what would happen if I changed tool nose radiuses as I was cutting this with a finished pass. More importantly, you can see the difference here on how we shift to the geometry that we have if my radius was to change different sizes. Now, I actually have a insert compare between a CNMG and a VNMG with two different radius sizes. If I was to go in there and compare the actual tool paths itself based off of these uh, two different tools that I have here, what you will see is my green profile and of course the red and this blue profile. I'll deselect the highlight here. And you'll notice that the start point changes based off of the radius of the insert. What this means is, in this case, if I'm doing a rough can cycle, let's open up these parameters. And let's say I have this set for wear. Remember, wear is automatically compensating for the tool diameter itself. It's just allowing me to have a G41 or G42 in the output of my code to adjust on the control. Let's go back to that insert once again. And here you see the tangency point for the front and the bottom of the insert, or I should say face and diameter in this case, are the same between each one of these tools. If I was compensating using control, this would be fine because my control would be making up for the value that I place under the compensation diameter for that specific tool. When using wear, even though we track the tool from this point, the output of the code is shifting to the tangency of the insert. This is given this two different tangency points. So if I was to go back to this toolpath compare, what you'll notice is on the diameter we match up and on the face we match up. But in the event that we start doing angles and radiuses, etc., what you see here under this blue line is that sharper radius going deeper, this is going to be the actual output location of that particular tool. So now, I'm going to go back to the actual part itself. And one of the things that I like about CAN cycles within MasterCAM is that I can select my geometry for whatever tool that I want to use. And I can give it a comment, feeds, speeds, etc. And under our CAN rough parameters, you see your standard G71 code. P and Q being the start of a profile to the end of the profile, etc. I'll extend this contour to stock and just a green check. So now that we have a profile, if I was to go to my turning tab and go down to my finish can parameters, and let me change my WCS real quick. Put everything in my top plane. Let's reload that operation. So here, I'm going to give this a comment of finish OD, and we'll say canned here. And notice that we are just selecting the previous rough cycle. So. Basically, what we're seeing here is that we are referencing the previous geometry. Now, in this event, maybe I don't want to use my uh, CNMG. Maybe I want to use that VNMG insert that I have. Right now, it says tool nose radius is different between can rough and can finish. Pattern recall is not possible. Convert to longhand. In this case, I'm going to say no. What we are seeing here is that that profile needs to read the same geometry. Whenever we're given the, the P and Q lines in the output, it has to be the same radius in this case and same orientation respectively. So now, in the event that you want to do two CAN cycles back to back and have a different finish tool, you would have to use parameter and you would have to set this for control. 
Whenever we go into the finish parameters, I can now select that other tool. The reason behind this is because, again, you have to go to your control and set your diameter compensation in the CNC control itself. Whereas if I was to go back to this little dialog here that we have, you will notice that whenever we use wear, Mastercam is automatically adjusting for the output of this code.